Hey guys, this is my uh, Osprey Atmos 50 pack review. Uh, this was the one I had in my video, and this one I've this is a newer pack. I've had this out oh maybe six eight times. It's very comfortable. Uh, where to start? Let's kind of start with pocket configurations. It's got uh, as you can see it's in the camera here. It's got a top hood. It's got a mesh pocket with a nice full handle in here. That's where I keep a lot of my uh, hygiene stuff. And then it's got another pocket in the top. And it's also got a uh, little key hook or whatever you want to call it. So that's the top pocket. You go to the inside. It's got one big compartment on the inside. And it's inside here also it's got a, uh, you can see that with my camera, it's got a water bladder sleeve in here. It's also got a, a zipper here that gives you access to the panel. In between the bag and the back panel you can put your water bladder in there too. And that's where I've got mine right now. So this works nice to, you know, you can kind of separate stuff if you need to. You can use that water bladder bag. Uh, it's also got a water bladder hook holders both inside the panel and in the back here so you hold your water bladder up which is a nice feature and then it's got uh, it's in frame here this little closure with you know pull the top to open it up and I just have a flashlight on here for this is an add-on for seeing in my pack and stuff so that's the main compartment on the outside then it's got two long tubes for a compartment that have a zip, nice wide zipper. I'll fit like, I can if I split my tent up, I can fit like the poles, tent poles in one, and my uh, thermo rest pad fit in there. Let me show you. And you fit a thermo rest in there. Really easy. You can see, see the space that's left yet. So they're really deep, they go down pretty good. You know, this is a three quarter length thermo rest. And then, so that's on both sides. It's also got your axe or ice pick holders or uh, for trekking poles. Nice little loop that you can loop up. I use this for my hatchet. Uh, way back, it's got this kind of kind of like a springy, stretchy material. It's got one big pocket, one big pocket that goes down, and it's got a closure. This is good for if you want to dry your socks up or something, or if you want to just keep a spare shirt in there, or whatever you want to use it for. A very, very handy pocket configuration. Like typically what I'll do is my... Otherwise, um, it's just a very comfortable pack. It's got, uh, if you see here, it's got mesh. It's about half inch foam and there's holes for breathability with mesh over it. And it's on the shoulder straps and the, the waist pad is the same way. You can see it there. So it breathes really well. And then in the back here, it's got about an inch and a half of a cavity. This is where my water bladder is behind here. But it's got a really tight mesh and one inch and a half cavity there so it, your back really breathes. If you hand this out in really hot weather and it just you, you don't sweat at all. I mean it's just very minimal and um, I've been very happy with the design of it. It's very sturdy too. It's not not like it's built cheaply so that's one of the features I want to point out. Uh, otherwise it does uh, cinch down really tight it's got a strap here, and it's got a strap that zigzags inside the pocket. You can also move that to the outside of the pocket if you want to store something. But that's what makes, that's why I chose this pack. There's two different sizes. There's the 35 and the 65, and this is the 50. This is the one in between. But this one, for day hikes, it, it scrunches up so tight, and you can compact your load really good. You really don't feel like you're carrying a huge pack. But it also gets big enough for a three to five day outing really easily. So that's why I chose this one. Um, what else to say about it? Uh, there is, this is the Aura 50. This is the pack for the women. Uh, it's the same pack setup, same pockets, everything. It's just called the Aura 50. Well, guys, I recommend that if you're going to buy a pack for your wife, or your girlfriends or something, make sure you get them one that's a high quality. You know, sh my wife will probably only go with me once or twice a year, but I want her to enjoy it. I don't want her carrying using my old pack that doesn't fit her. I want her to have a pack that's going to fit her, that's customized to her, that fits her well. So that's why I chose this one. This pack actually bought hers before we bought mine. Uh, but uh, then this pack fits her perfectly. She's a smaller frame, you know, just the size is awesome. Um, 
Uh, oh, another feature, it does have a sternum strap which is adjustable, about six inches of adjustment. It's also got a whistle on this strap that's pretty loud. I'll show you. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but uh, it's pretty loud. Um, again, hers has a water bladder in it with the uh, magnetic holder, the same water bladder setup. And like I showed in the other video, this water bladder does not bulge out. It keeps all the all the bulge to the back side. It's got a solid back panel that works really well. So, like I said, if you're going to get your wife's or your girlfriend, somebody that's going to be going with you, get them a pack that's going to fit them properly. So, I think that is it. I'll have to look at the video, make sure I covered everything. My uh, camera actually died and cut out most of my video, so if I repeat anything, I'm sorry. If I miss something, I'm sorry. I'll have to look it over and make sure I got everything. But, uh, yeah, so basically, overview we got the top pocket in the hood. There's a pocket inside here, a little mesh one. Main compartment with the pocket inside, and then also seen here where your water bladder is inside there. It zips up really nice and tight. So it's also got uh, information written on the inside of the hood. Kind of for uh, leave no trace principles. So it's kind of neat. Um, mesh outside pocket. Like I said, this is uh, the green stuff is kind of kind of a spandex type material. And this is a, actually a mesh pocket. It's got a little vent for drying stuff out. So that's nice for sandals, wet socks or something. And it's got the two a pocket on each side. Big nice hooks or loops. The water pocket, uh, the cinch straps and cinches this thing up. It's really snug. Uh, oh, it also has. I don't know if I showed you this or not. Like I said my video cut out, so I can't remember what was in which video. So I'm just going to show it to you again, just in case. In the old view. Uh, when I do take a ridge rest for like winter or stuff, uh, it is nice to be able to strap it on the outside mm -hmm. here. So it's got the sleeping pad straps, or I've put my tent on here before, but that holds it nice. Uh, the only complaint I can see with this pack, you see on the bottom, it's got the wire frame coming through here. I could see that wearing if you set it on concrete a lot or something, but a little duct tape will fix that. Otherwise, like I said, great mesh, good breathability, lightweight, this pack weighs Again, 3.6 pounds, 3 pounds 6 ounces, or whatever it is, yeah, 3, point, 3 pounds 6 ounces is the weight of this, which cuts down on your load a lot. My old pack was 6.5 uh, pounds, you know, so there right right off the bat I'm cutting 3 pounds off my pack. So you go from, you can cut your weight down dramatically, or dramatically if I can talk here. So that's the Osprey Atmos 50, and the Osprey Aura 50 is the women's version. So, very pleased with this, this pack. It's uh, I like I said, besides that little wear issue, which I'm not having yet, but I see it could be a problem. Um, I'm 100% happy with this pack. I have no complaints. The comfort is awesome. Uh, the amount I can pack in this pack is awesome. And the ability, what I was looking for in a pack is I do a lot of day hikes along with, actually do more day hikes than I do actually overnight. So I wanted a pack that I could use for overnights and a pack that I could use on day hikes. And this. This thing is just, it cinches up so, comp, you know, it comp, compresses your load so well, you know, that you can just, you can see how skinny it gets, but it's just, a, it's like a heavy duty, beefy backpack that I can wear, you know, on a day hike with the kids, and I can have all the kids stuff in it, you know, I can even pack my extra stuff in, in case of an emergency if I want to, but I can have it as small as I want, you know, all the kids stuff will fit in there. And then it's not a burden on your back, and it's got the breathability that you really, it's really not a burden to wear. You know, I know a lot of times on day hikes before I just wouldn't wear a backpack because you know, your back gets sweaty on a hot day, and it's just annoying. It's like well, I'm going out for a day. I don't need to carry anything with. You know, which I like to have stuff with just to be prepared. But uh, this, you really, you don't notice it. it. Just, it's, it's really nice. If you throw cold water in your air, in your water bladder before you leave. It's actually like an air conditioner blowing on your back, so it really cools nice. Uh, after six, seven hour a day, your water is a little warm if you keep it on the outside here, but for the most part, it, it cools your back if you're going on a couple hour day hikes, which is really, really nice. So uh, I guess that's all there really is to say about 
these packs, uh, I really enjoyed owning them. So I, if anybody's looking for a lightweight, versatile pack, I would highly recommend them. Um, like I said, they're about 165 bucks if you find them on sale through REI. Otherwise, I think they're closer to 200. But um, very pleased with it. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps anybody that was interested. I know I had a couple of viewers ask about the pack review, so figured I'd do it right away and get it out there. But uh, thanks for watching.